Right now, I want to talk about olanzapine, which is a PRN or like take as needed medication at five milligrams. Now, let's actually jump back and say, I'm not a doctor, I'm not making any recommendations, I'm just talking about how I feel and my experience with this medication. It's also known as Zyprexa. Um, my dog's over there, he's got a cone because he's itchy sometimes. Olanzapine is an antipsychotic and it's very interesting how it can be used to help manage the symptoms of borderline personality disorder, which is like connected to my complex PTSD, which is, you know, um, if, well, if you don't know, just long-term experience of trauma and it really shapes your brain and how I cope with life basically. So borderline personality disorder is sort of um, the relationship component and my personality that has come from having experienced the trauma. And I basically, I also have generalized anxiety disorder. Um, I sort of brush over that often, but really that is the root to everything that I'm experiencing, really all my symptoms. Um, because stress is, <clears throat> stress is what shaped my brain when I was younger. And so my brain only really knows stress. The way I explain it is I'm kind of buzzing all the time. Like my energy is just like, bzzz. I'm so anxious and nervous and there's so many thoughts running through my head about the future, about the past, shaming myself, like just constantly because that's what I grew up doing. That's what I internalized. The way this medication works is it really decreases that active part of my brain that's in fight or flight mode, which is, you know, how I've been my entire life, which is the anxiety. And then I become depressed because of that. And the more anxious I get, the more my borderline personality disorder symptoms get, the more um, difficult my life really gets. And the more I become sort of disabled from being able to do the things that I need and want to do. And that's part of why I'm on disability currently, because I'm not able to work because my mental illnesses um, dominate so much of my life and my ability to function or to not function. When I take the olanzapine, um, it slows down my thoughts. I don't have so many thoughts. So I'm able to actually like be in the moment. And it's interesting because my personality doesn't change. Like I'm still me. I'm still like quirky, weird, you know, whatever. The olanzapine has been very helpful. It has helped me to sleep a lot because um, normally I'm just buzzing. I'm buzzing on the energy, the nervous, nervous, nervous energy. And that really is what this antipsychotic helps me with. I say antipsychotic with emphasis because it is so stigmatized. Um, as you guys know, I'm sure, like they're crazy. Like yesterday I was crying about it with my boyfriend, should have filmed it. <laughs> I was too in the moment, it's good when I'm in the moment. Like it's good to film as well, but like I really don't film like everything obviously. But anyway, so we're just talking about it and like how I'm like, so now everything that I say can basically be discredited. Like if I'm taking antipsychotics, that's like a whole new identity for myself. Like how do I accept the fact that I now have moved into this category of mental illness that first like we've created in society that I've now internalized and like to not take antipsychotics but to take other medication is like oh, okay that's not as bad as taking an antipsychotic that means like oh it's so intense and the thing is yeah my mental illness is intense my life is riddled with dysfunction and and since last year like since I've created my channel and all that stuff like things have really gotten better but like you guys have seen me go through my relapses filmed a bunch of those did I film when I was in hospital in February? I post about it on Instagram, so check that out for like daily stuff if you guys don't already. Um, but yeah, you've, you've seen me and things have changed and now I'm finding a way to accept and own that I take an antipsychotic, who cares? Like, cause for me, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's fine, you take it, but I don't. And there's a stigma, like there is a stigma and I feel it in society and I took it on myself basically and uh, we're gonna not shame ourselves. Like, I'm gonna not shame myself for that. That cry yesterday was really helpful. Abrar is amazing. Like, how is he? <sighs> it lined up perfectly because when he came into my life, I was prepared to be honest. And I was just like, okay, hey, you know what? The next person I really like, I'm gonna actually tell them when they say like, how are you doing? I'm gonna be like, to be honest, like I'm deep in my cocaine addiction. I am not able to work at the moment. That was when I was just um, going on like leave uh, because I was, mentally like so deep in my addiction i could not work i'm like i'm a vegan who's eating 
like Kentucky Fried Chicken right now and like hating myself and he he was like okay he just never judged me he never shamed me and yeah I should maybe do a video on like just him you know he's a little camera shy sometimes anyways so <laughs> I didn't take an olanzabine today so that's why I'm a little bit more buzzing I just took them the past three days and like honestly it's really chilled me out and I don't want this to be a really long video I wanted to just like sort of get in there to tell myself like when I'm having a rough time that it's okay to take whatever helps oh by the way there is a medication I think I mentioned it on Instagram but it helps me to decrease um, the intensity of my my nightmares and my night terrors that I have that are so traumatizing they affect me the next day um, like I wake up drenched in sweat and I've been kicking screaming you know what's interesting okay I my, I was like smothered by my sister in a lot of ways like she just like wouldn't leave me alone she would like lick my face and I'd be like she was a few years older than me anyways I still scream her name telling her to like get off me and leave me alone but also other things too I've actually been learning about some new traumas uh, that I've forgotten about anyways so I'm gonna go but I wanted to tell myself about that so when I come back and watch these videos that I've I don't know like it's okay it's okay things are okay you know um, oh, but that medication that helps with, um, just quickly, I forgot, <laughs> um, the medication that helps me not have nightmares is a blood pressure medication. So, you know, we use medications for different things and there shouldn't be shame and even just the word psychotic, we need to destigmatize that because psychosis is a state of not being connected to reality in some way. And that's scary that's scary. We don't want that person to be hurt or anybody else to sort of, you know, deal with any sort of pain that comes from that or from watching somebody go through that. So we're destigmatizing mental illness. Subscribe, like, all the good stuff. Leave a comment. Um, I do read them. Sometimes it gets lost in my, like, I don't know. I don't know why my phone on YouTube is different from my computer on YouTube and when I search for comments, but keep leaving comments. I will find you and um, I love you. Not sorry. Love Lori. Explained it. Like, yeah, of course you can swear. It's your YouTube channel. It's like 18 plus. I'm like, ah, bitch, fuck. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Is that? I can't. Can we do? I can't do an accent. <laughs>